representing Some of Us, which is an international consumer watchdog that holds corporations to account for corporate wrongdoing. Um, and I'm here to deliver over 384,000 signatures that are urging water officials here to vote no on the permit that would allow Nestle to bottle nearly a half billion gallons of water a year from Ginny Springs, which is already fragile. It's in recovery, right? Absolutely. And, you know, this is 384,000 people who wish they could be here. So these are people from Florida and from across the world. And these are people who understand what it means when you let Nestle into your town. So just last week, I spoke with Steve Lowe, um, who is a retired uh, forestry ranger. Steve Lowe worked in the San Bernardino National Forest, and he was one of the two rangers who discovered that Nestle had been pumping water there on an expired permit for 30 years. And this was 30 years during which deep droughts were occurring and local residents were under uh, orders to reduce their water use. Nestle, however, did not reduce their water use at all. Um, and according to Steve, uh, Nestle's version of sustainable was so long as their pipes were full, that water was sustainable. It didn't matter if the creek was drying up downstream. Um, and I asked what Steve's advice was for people here in North Florida and he said, never let Nestle in, never give up that water, because if you give up that water, you're never going to get it back, or you're going to be in court forever battling to get it back. Um, I know that sounds a little apocalyptic, but the fact of the matter is that Nestle is a bad actor. Um, history shows us that it's a bad actor. Um, but thankfully, history also shows us that when communities get together, when people get together and fight back, we can defeat Nestle. Um, just last week, in Michigan, Michigan's second highest court ruled in favor of a small town that's been fighting Nestle for years. Uh, Nestle almost sued the town out of existence. Uh, we're into bankruptcy. Um, some of us helped fundraise to uh, pay for their legal fees, uh, in addition with a lot of great local groups. And uh, that town now uh, has, has beat back Nestle. So it's possible there, it's possible here. Um, I also want to add, today is a World Human uh, Rights Day, and water is a human right, and people here in North Florida have the right to decide what happens to their water, not some foreign multinational. Yeah. 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 Yeah.